Hi there, downtown Coral Gables, fellow property owners, Jackson Rip Holmes. Uh, as you may know, there is a pending uh, re-election coming up here uh, relating to the Business Improvement District. I'm against the re-election. Really, when it comes right down to it, they're trying to run us off our property. Now that may seem like um, uh, it might be exaggerated, but I, I think I can prove that that's not at all exaggerated. Um, are you aware of the business, of, of the proposed overlay district for the downtown um, that has been pending over the past couple of years? Uh, this has been sponsored by the Business Improvement District. And, uh, you know, what it is is they raise the height for development uh, to seven floors or six floors, depending on how you calculate it. Uh, and of course, there's a minimum property ownership footprint required, right? Um, so what does that tell us? You know, the, the, the people that make the money are the developers because they have the big properties and the little guys, you and me, the mom and pop, mom and pop property owners with uh, 25 or 50, or even 75 front feet. Um, you don't get in on the act. We don't have that kind of property and we're left in the dust. Uh, my experience with you all is there's a lot of pride of ownership uh, on Miracle Mile, on Aragon, G Geralda, Andalusia. People own that property because they, they live here and they love it and they, they, they're proud to own that property. They don't want to sell to developers. They're not in this for the money. They've been here for Many often, in many cases, decades. Um, and yet, what I submit to you is that the the leadership of the Business Improvement District has been taken over by developers. Um, the, uh, the last president was uh, Mindy McElroy of Terra Nova. We know they're a big developer. They, they've sought a 15-story building permit at the corner of Miracle Mile in Andalusia. The former business improvement district director told me she was fired because she wouldn't endorse that. Um, the present business improvement district director is um, Vinny Torrey. He's a developer. You know, I've been blackballed from the bid, bid board uh, basically for the past 15 years. I was told by one of the board members that I was blackballed. So when I say that the leadership positions are rigged in favor of developers, I, I can speak unfortunately, from experience, right? Um, now, what have they done, right? All right? First of all, they're coming back again. You know, I finally found that the majority of the commissioners actually don't want us to go up on Miracle Mile, but they're going to be subjected to pressures from the bid. And today, in the very meeting today, with the election pending, one of the, the, the second in command of the bid was urging the commissioner to go up on Miracle Mile. And, and you know, we... We don't have to have advanced college degrees in mathematics to do that math there. If developers are approved up to six floors, 70 feet, in an overlay district, then uh, the little guy gets squeezed out. And, you know, we comprise the majority of the voting bloc. I think that the mom and pop owners, uh, like you and I, are 70%. 70%. So all we have to do is not vote, and they lose. The bid has been hijacked, in my opinion. It's been hijacked by the developers. I was blackballed. We've had two developers. They're pushing even today, laugh for the past two years, to do the over, re, re, redo the overlay district and go up to six or seven floors. I urge you to reject this effort to kill our businesses by just not voting or voting no. Thank you for listening. You can reach me at 305-338-5000 or email rip.homes at yahoo.com. Thanks. If you have any questions, let me know.